Welcome back to Tax Time for the Sportsman. In this episode, we're going to go fishing for the most popular game fish in the world, the largemouth bass. Today's a very special day because I'm able to go fishing with two of my best friends. My daughter, obviously, and my good friend Bob Hanlon from Coatesville, Indiana. Today, we're going to be fishing on his private lake, his lake that he's stocked with largemouth bass and red ears. Bob, can you tell us a little bit about your lake and the fishing that you've done here so far? Okay, the, our lake is a private lake. It's uh, approximately 15 acres. Uh, there's excellent bass fishing and bluegill and, and red ear fishing here on the lake. Uh, I would anticipate we will have real good luck today catching the big bass. In the past, we've had some pretty good luck here on the lake. And as you can see, this is one of the fish that Sophie caught a couple years ago and I mounted up for her. And you know what's all involved in mounting a fish? Well, that's what you're going to learn in this episode. I'm going to take you inside taxidermy, and in specific, inside fish taxidermy, show you the supplies and the techniques that professional taxidermists use to create a beautiful mount like this. For me, taxidermy is about more than just preserving a fish. To me, it's about preserving a memory. It's about preserving a moment. And when I mounted this fish for my daughter, it meant more to me than just mounting a fish. It meant preserving that memory of that day and the excitement of seeing my daughter pull in her first largemouth bass. So today could be a whole other chapter in our fishing together. And so we're going over and throw the bait underneath that big tree hanging out over the water and see if we can hook up to another bass. Oh, it jumped. Raise up and then reel real hard. Oh, he's under the boat. Oh, jeez. He's a big one. He's out front. He's out front. Okay, you're getting in. You're getting in. Wow. That's bigger than the one you caught last year, so. Oh, yes. Here we go. All right. Look at that, so. Way to go, so. That's a beautiful bass. So, what do you say we take that back to our shop, mount it, and preserve this memory? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start out by taking a look at the fish eyes. And yes, by far, this is the largest fish eye in the world. And I made this eye up specially so that you could see the particular shape of a fish eye. If you take a look at this, you see how it's domed towards the front? That's how a fish eye is. It's not domed right in the middle. And if we look at it from the front, is that round? No. That is oval. A fish eye is oval and is domed towards the front. And there's a series of eyes called aqua eyes that captures that shape. But even more exciting, Aqua Eyes uses the high definition photograph of the live fisheye and it fuses that through computers into a lens. This is a beautiful example of an Aqua Eye. See how when you move it, the colors flip flop? That is actually a high definition photographic image of a largemouth bass eye. And if you take a look at it, it has all the elements of a fisheye. It has the pupil, it has a nice gold ring, and then it has the iris coloration. Aqua Eyes is a new eye in taxidermy, and this eye adds a new dimension of realism to all fish taxidermy. But what's actually under that skin? What is it that creates the shape, the movement, and the realism of a mounted fish? 